Breaking news. The North deceiving Nigerians. Zamfara government intercepts food, fuel supply to bandits, arrest hundred suspects. So, why are they deceiving us? You know, the whole of the state has buy into this thing. So, it's those that are not yet into it that gets kidnapped, you know, killed, and ransom is being demanded. As a matter of fact, the people of the state or those of outside the state, whoever they are, mostly of the north, yeah, those of the same vicinity are the ones carrying, carrying out these atrocities, doing whatever they are doing, and pretending to Nigerians that this is going on. Zamfara government, you know that Zamfara state, the, the suspects are seriously being bombarded. Bandits. And we know what is going, to, going on right now. People that were carrying food, fuel, to fuel their, you know, the bikes, they come in bikes, about four people will be on one bike. To bandits, we are arrested. And you'll be surprised, you'll be shocked who these people are. And if they, if they probe them for, but get what? They will not probe them too much. Because names you will not believe or imagine will pop up. So they will probe to an extent, then they will uh -huh, drop back a bit. Do you see where we are going? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. North deceiving Nigerians. Zamfara government intercept food, fuel supply to bandits, arrest hundred suspects. The Zamfara state government says it has intercepted vehicles, not be vehicle, vehicles conveying food, drinks, fuel to various bandit camps in the state. So they don't plenty, they have divisions. The government said it has also arrested about a hundred violators of Governor Bello, Matawa's executive order to restore law and order in the state. Secretary to the State Special Tax Force on Security, Mr. Aduraziz, made the disclosure to the news agency of Nigeria, NAN, in Gosha, Wednesday. Matawa has established the Special Tax Force to enforce measures to address the lingering security challenges of mass kidnapping for ransom, cattle racing by gunmen facing the state. NNN recalled that Matawa made on August the 26th signed the executive order in line with the relevant section of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Government of Nigeria as amended. In signing the executive order, the governor said he acted in the exercising of the power conferred on him by the section 52 section 176 subsection 2 and section 315 subsection 2 of the 1999 constitution of the federal republic of nigeria as amended he also said it was in the exercise of all other powers enabling him in the in that behave in the on in that, on behalf of the office, to effect to protect the lives and property of the people of the state, at the same time, contain the security challenges. He says, those who have been involved with the bandits, encouraging them by assisting them with fuel, food, supplies, will be dealt with, and further investigation probe will commence. That's the problem. So, the people who are supplying all those things and encouraging them to continue in their act and in their track, around them you know yoruba used to say one very particular language is in yoruba and if i say it i will not pronounce it properly and some of you might laugh if you are from yoruba descent you will laugh and say what is this woman saying so i will leave it but i will explain it in english it says the 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 insects that is eating the vegetable the insect that is plaguing the vegetable that you come and you see on even leaves and all that is inside the vegetable it's not a strange one that came from the sky no it's within the vegetable it's within, it's within, it's not somewhere very far. So you see what is going on in this country? Those that are involved know themselves. Those that are, those that are encouraging evil to continue. School adoption and the rest, they know themselves. Then they will ask the South, well, you know, after the South have gone to school and all that. Yeah, they are making the North uninhabitable. Children can no longer go to school. Girls can no longer pay attention because people have found a cheap way 
of getting into children into family ways, very young children without paying dowry or seeing their parents. Yes, they found cheap ways by kidnapping them from school, marrying them off and bringing them at a time when they've exhausted, you know, they've done whatever they want to do. Now, listen, my people, if things must change and we must move forward, we must stand up as a voice and say no to oppression. If things must change, all hands, I repeat, all hands must be on deck. It's not my work, it's not your work, it's our work. Now, they will expect the South to bring her resources and we kill and divide, we share, yes? What, what is the other person bringing to the table? What are they bringing to the table? These are questions we must ask ourselves. It's a very, it's a very gray area. People don't want to talk about it, especially where they say eh, it belongs to us. We are a country. This is part of the reason why people are fighting hand and knee. Yeah, to say Nigeria must not divide. What do you mean that the Nigeria wants to divide? Who are those that want to divide Nigeria? Well, for those calling for division, they have their reasons. Those who said Nigerians should not divide have their reasons. Whichever line of, whichever side of the of the line you stand. I respect you. At the end of the day, it is called your decision and you have your reasons why. You see that we are still together. It's, it's, it's because this country, you know, we people want to stay together as one. Then if we must go apart, those who are supposed to do the relevant, necessary to find out, you know, steps to find out what the people want, do not want it so. Why? There is a lopsided way this government, this state, this country is that favors some people and so they will not want things to change or be altered because this is what fuels their greed. This is how they make their money. Where those, have you heard of this parable that kings are walking on the floor while servants are on horseback? That's what's going on in Nigeria. I mean, just a clear indication. There's no way better way to explain it. Kings are walking on the floor. Kings are trekking around, you know, suffering. But servants are on horseback and telling the kings, double up, double up, move quickly. You, 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 you're slow. You keep, keep up the pace, keep up the pace. Leave us a comment. We really love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button. So you can always get all our latest news. No more should we allow oppression because we all deserve to live free and enjoy all that pertains to us. God bless you. Bye for now.